you go, push out, pull in, hard right. Hard right, dive it down, left. Not bad, watch out for me here. Let out, let it fill up. All right, now pull again. Here we go, keep pulling, pull more, pull another foot. Oh, we're right off on the edge here. All right, try pulling again now. Don't pull on the bar at all. Feels like the wind's pretty much going maybe just to the right of the of the boat landing where we were. There you go. Bring the kite back across into more wind. Don't pull the bar. Just pull that launch line, that left, uh, that uh, red line, yeah, or orange, whatever color that is. Pull hard right there. You're in power. The kite's ready to go. All right, pull that one when it rocks. <laughs> Either one. Oh, come on. It's just right on the bubble here. Keep pulling, pull, 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 pull. Keep pulling. Oh, let all the way out. Now pull again. There we go. Pull hard. More. Pull a foot. All right, let out. We're right on the edge of the wind window. Here we go. All right, pull in and left. Let's get the kite going left. Counter steer, push out, left. It's like everything else when you're you know, getting pulled behind a boat even for the first time. It just feels off. The other thing, if you go straight downwind, you don't edge against and resist on that kite, so it has less power. So this whole finding where the wind is, it's just a regular, regular thing for everybody to start to feel. And it's the slightest increase and decrease in pressure.